Welcome to this short demonstration of scenario-based training using the Virtual Battlespace 2 simulation. Within DRC, one of our missions is to turn video gaming into military training by incorporating sound instructional design processes. VBS2 is a virtual simulation-based training tool designed to train soldiers in garrison before deploying to the field. Each soldier controls an entity within the simulation, giving the unit a realistic training experience in both collective and individual tasks and preparing them for live field training exercises. In addition to the individual movements made by the members of the training audience, VBS2 has a wide range of behaviors which can be developed using scripting or coding. DRC has created over 100 scenarios for multiple organizations to include infantry, artillery, military police, aviation, armor, and sustainment units. This DVD will depict a number of Army operations to show you how DRC can help train your unit by turning these virtual computer games into realistic training events. Training exercises can be designed from the individual equipment operator level to company size units and many elements from land, sea, and air. Carefully constructed exercises will provide the appropriate cues to elicit responses from the members of the training audience and can be used to rehearse plans or test the timing of certain events. Some operations allow units to rehearse their part of an operation without necessarily having all members of the team or task present for the earliest stages of training. Virtual simulations often allow units to conduct exercise walkthroughs before receiving specialized training, allowing them to rehearse and revise plans before they could conduct the exercise in a live mode. Virtual simulation also allows collective training in many cases up to company size without expending fuel, ammunition, and spare parts, and without having to use training audience personnel as opt for. Virtual exercises uh, can also be conducted on terrain that is not available in local training areas, and with equipment that may be in storage sites and not readily available. Virtual training is ideal for crawl and walk level training for Army Reserve units who often have limited time, equipment, and terrain upon which to conduct training. Virtual simulation also provides training in many of the battle drills which have traditionally been overlooked until it is too late. The ability to conduct medevac, for example, is essential for all ranks in all situations from weekend drills to combat and theater of operations.
VBS2 has an excellent AAR feature which allows you to record and then review the entire operation from any angle. The AAR feature allows you to select a unit or individual or specific area and view the rounds fired, movement of vehicles, and discuss what lessons were learned from the exercise. This is a great way for soldiers to review their actions and see how they reacted to certain cues, cover that was used or neglected, and whether they chose the appropriate course of action. A well-conducted AAR is where the best training occurs, and DRC training products always include discussion questions for the observer trainer centered on the specific skills derived from training objectives of the exercise. The well-conducted AAR is the key to turning gaming into viable training. Thank <laughs> you.